So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want a the theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Case snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Alright. Let's do pan first. Hi everyone, Martha here. It's, I don't know if I'm going to do any of these shorts with these guys. Uh, Pan? Are you and here? This game is so weird. It's hard to fit um, any of this stuff in these shorts. Pan! In here. All right, then. Guess I'll just head off. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. You're not here to yell at me, are you? That depends. Do you still think I'm a lost cause? Dead woman walking? I think if anyone could find a way out of this predicament, it would be you. Very carefully said. I certainly thought so. I've been practicing in a mirror and everything. Of course you would be. <laughs> ah, you've learned something. Something not altogether pleasant, I'm guessing. Care to tell me what it is? It's been said I can be a fine listener. I might even have some advice. One never knows. Okay, where do I begin? Well, of course it was Athena. Wait, you knew? No, how could I? Hmm, so what now? Flee the city. What? I know people who know people. I, I could take you. If we went far enough, even Athena might... Might... Let you go. You don't sound very sure of that. No. No, I don't. Uh, I'm not good at this part. Which part? This. Regret. Being a survivor means you get used to doing things you... would rather not. Since when do you do anything you don't want to do? I'm no stranger to pain. It's simply that, in the face of pain, I dance. Sounds like a fun time. Do consider my offer. There's no reason for you to go to trial quietly. Like a good little girl. I appreciate the offer, Pam. I really do. But this is something I have to face.
Okay, well, I guess we can't go back to him. They don't allow you as an option. <laughs> oh, it's you. Paul comes in, mopier than his usual mopey self, and won't say a word about why. But of course, it's you. Is he okay? He left my place pretty upset. I'm concerned. Oh, you're concerned. Well, I guess the rest of us just better get out of your way, huh? Look, I'm not stupid. I don't buy into this god crap, but I know Paul and the rest of you are not on the right side of normal. Even so, Paul is a good guy. Leave him alone. He doesn't want to talk to you. It's all right, Oracle. I think Grace and I need a moment alone, if you please. Oh, sure. Don't mind me. It's not like I was in the middle of anything. Hey, she's trying to help, I guess, in her own little way. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to end up this way. I know. It's okay, Apollo. He... You have to stop torturing yourself over this. I wanted you to find out about Athena without learning the prophecy. Yeah, it was difficult to help without helping too much. Even pointing you at Pan. I was hoping he could be pressured into assisting more. When I first became Apollo, I was so sure I could help people. Help the world. I ignored the warnings. I have no idea how many lives I run before I stopped. I never should have given in to Athena. This one time, I thought that maybe, maybe it will be different. You don't know everything, Apollo. Half the problem is that you and every other idol thinks they do. What do you mean? Trying to prevent the prophecy is what's making it come true. So you want to, what, stop trying? Maybe. I hope you can forgive me, Grace. There's nothing to forgive, Apollo. You did what you could for a friend. You didn't owe me anything. Yeah, we just met that day. Means is the trial. Whatever happens, Grace, I'll be standing right there by you. Thank you. Did you forget something, Grace? It felt like we hadn't quite finished our conversation. It seemed pretty finished to me. What more is there to discuss? How about you? Are you okay? Oh, I am many miles from okay, Grace. Don't you want to talk about it? 
Oh, Calliope would not have approved of the way I acted. <laughs> but then she seldom did. It was so good to see her in Hades. To have her say she forgives me. I just wish it were as easy to forgive myself. Is that what you think you need to do? Forgive yourself? Good lord, is there more? You could start by atoning. By trying to be a better person. We idols are capable of change, Grace. On rare occasion. Is it any easier out there? Do you miss being immortal? Grace? It's been a week, Persephone. If I live past the trial, I'll let you know. Yes, the trial. It's a whole thing, I hear. Whatever happens, Calliope will approve of us defying Athena. Okay, let's see what happens. <coughs> Wait, this ain't the trial? <laughs> We're back to where the game begins, okay. So this is it. All your new friends have lied to you, but somehow they're gonna get you through the trial, right? <sighs> I wish Freddy were here. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. A breeze. I am driven. Yeah, I'm here. This is the same song that she did. No star to be seen.
Care to explain how this is supposed to work? I don't exactly have an itinerary. How this works is, you follow us. Welcome to Old Olympus, dear. Is this a real place? It's the memory of a real place, which for us is the same thing. begin, shall we? you. We few who remain fled to this new land to escape the war, but we are not out of danger. I waited to tell you until I was certain, and now I am. The idols are dying. It will not be long before even our immortality deserts us. The time for extreme measures has arrived. And you'll be the one deciding which of those extreme measures is implemented, right? You and no one else. <laughs> when has there ever been anyone else? Each of you is here because I brought you here. I protected you. I carved out this space in a strange land so we could survive. I am at this trial to tell you that, as always, I will look out for you. I will save you. Trust in me, Pallas Athena, daughter of Zeus and leader of the chorus, and I will do anything it takes to keep you all alive. You'll do anything? Tell them. Let them know what that anything includes. Tell them about the prophecy Apollo gave you and how you've interpreted it. The idols cannot continue so long as the last muse lives. Isn't that how it goes? It's true. Yep, she made monster, so you have become a monster. If there's any threat to the survival of the idols, Athena, it's you. I'm willing to bet this isn't about the prophecy. Not really. This is about you staying in control. How dare you? How dare me? Who murdered Calliope? Who tried to murder me? Why keep it all a secret? Tell them. Yes, it's me. It's me. Of course, it's me. The one who gets it done. Don't you see? It had to be. You turn away when I got the fish. Then you cry, hooray, once it's on the dish. That's how we do. Yes, me. Yes, you and me. I have always cared for you. I'll always do all these things for you. Down. Oh, 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 oh,
you caught the call in the hand. Did you know you were turning to the sky? Sorry, little bird, time to bring your back. She's not where the kids is. You are not over. Cut out with the sex. Won't get a fight here. No shining night here. Oh, 
heart shouted, Athena, you be strong, be strong, no cost, it's great enough, it was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong and now I don't know what the right thing is. I leave it up to you what to do with this. All these years you hold this place. I think it's time you made some space. Enough of you. Band a new chorus. Are you finished? You've been talking forever. We're done, yes. And? So, you're in charge now, I'm guessing. For the moment, but it appears we're about to have a repeat of what happened in Hades. What does that mean? Perhaps you should explain, Pan. It was your notion, after all. Uh, <laughs> it's not that complicated, really. We're going to disband the chorus. Not only that, we have decided to reveal ourselves to the mortal world. You're planning to tell everyone what we really are? <laughs> Isn't that risky? Life is full of risks, my dear. Some of us will go into hiding, but for the rest of us, no more rules. No more living in the shadows. It's done. You all agree to this? No argument? No argument? Grace, you know us. We cannot order lunch without a good argument. <laughs> you, Grace, who said we should stop living in the past? Well, sure, but I didn't think you were listening. We are listening. To you, to Calliope. A little late, perhaps, but here we are. Calliope would definitely approve. If there's no chorus, does that mean idols just do whatever they want? Within the bounds of their conscience and good sense. Yes, indeed. What about Medusa? I hate to think what she's going to do. Medusa has offered to live in the reliquary. Frankly, I think she's relieved. As for the rest of us, we'll be subject to mortal authorities and their laws. Assuming they don't just round us up the moment they realize what we are. Quite so. What about Athena? She can't be okay with this. Would you believe she said, whatever your decision, I will abide by it? Dare say I almost fainted. That's a switch. <laughs> the fight's just not in her anymore. She was so certain she was doing the right thing. Oh, now that's an old tune. Now we'll see how long this new Athena lasts. I have a few thoughts as to how you could go about revealing yourselves. Oh? If there's time, we could prepare a campaign. A campaign? You make it sound like preparing for battle. It is, kinda. The idols would be stars before you know it. If you're famous enough, there's only so much that can be done to you. Now that is a marvelous idea indeed. 
I know there's a great deal left to be done, but if you all wouldn't mind, I'd like a moment alone with Grace. We'll be outside. Make it quick. Well, congratulations are in order, are they not? You've survived and proved me entirely wrong. I said I would. You should never have doubted me. You are quite right. You know, it's a lot harder to gloat when you agree with me. Oh, very well. I still can't believe you succeeded. It defies all expectations. I really think I must have dreamed the entire experience. That's better. And also, how dare you? I meant what I sang. I am not a good man. If Athena had taken me up on my offer, the idols would have been better off. But I can try to be better. You make me want to try. Then you'll need to try pretty hard. I don't want any more lies. Not even lies by omission. I shall be as open and forthright as an unclever child. I'm serious. I can be many things, Grace. Even earnest. As long as it means you'll still dance with me from time to time. Hmm. I think I can manage that. Ready to face the music? One more time. Always. Two months later. The muse encounter. <laughs> oh, of course you're all here. In my apartment. Why wouldn't you be? We were waiting for you. I thought, what's the first thing Grace would like to see when she returns home? The answer was obvious. Me. How does it feel to be the idol spokesperson appearing on every newscast, reputable and otherwise? I'm exhausted. The Oracle has been keenly following your progress. She records every appearance, every interview. She may be your biggest fan. The way she talks, you'd think she never doubted who you were. Well, at least she's been of great help to your online campaign. Personally, I still can't believe they haven't rounded us up yet for dissection. It helps that most people think the idols are some kind of stunt. Everyone here has also been busy. Would you like to hear the latest? I'd like to know what's kept you busy, Pan. Oh, you know me. A little of this, a little of that. Pining after you, relentlessly. I'm not pining. Well, yes, I am, but I'm also <laughs> busy. I'm producing an album of music, you see. You? You're gonna cut an album? I'm not doing the singing myself, no, no. I'm what's called a producer. I seek out talent and bring them into my new studio, you see. Just let them lie around and feel the creative juices flowing. Where did you get a studio? Not all of us immortals are broke, dear lad. Some of us managed our money, and I thought, uh, well, <laughs> um... He did it for you, Grace. I know you're busy saving us idols from the mortals, but I thought at some point you might like to return to your music. That is uncharacteristically thoughtful and romantic. I'm impressed. I can be a romantic, a rogue, and a hip satyr all at the same time. A true renaissance man, as they say. Has anyone heard about Athena? It's been a while. 
The revelation of the idols to the mortal world went far better than she could have dreamed. I, I think it shook her. Well, she was wrong about a great many things. As the goddess of wisdom, that's not an easy realization. So she left. Back to the old world. If she wanted to punish herself, she could have nailed herself to a pair of boards like any other martyr. Back to the old world? It's a long way to travel by herself. Well, I asked her to go. There's so many of us who went missing during the war. The idols going public might bring them out of hiding. Athena wanted to leave, and this gave her a purpose. We'll see if anything comes of it. Is Hermes still around? I'm surprised they're not here with the rest of you. Well, we've barely seen them of late. Was I imagining things, or was that scoundrel starring in a commercial for footwear? Branding. <laughs> Hermes has been busy. They've become a social media darling, or so the oracle tells me. The truly amusing part is that they're not even trying is to be trying famous. Is he trying to compete with Nike? <laughs> <laughs> I always likes to people, please. It's true. Hopefully it won't backfire on them. Fame is a double-edged sword. Hermes lives a charmed life. Never fear. Well, it's odd seeing their face on so many billboards, but I agree. Let Hermes have their fun. Is there any word yet on Aphrodite and Eros? They left the city a while ago. Eros sent word, yes. Uh, Aphrodite has started... Uh... A spiritual retreat in the mountains? Let's call it a cult. Whatever it is, he says it's been helping her. Being the goddess of love to the world once more has at last brought her peace. Quite possibly she missed being adored by the masses. Who wouldn't really? I thought for sure they'd go into hiding. Aphrodite fears mortals more than any other idol, doesn't she? Hence why she surrounded herself with only those who shower her with adoration. As I recall, sister, you also headed several cults across the centuries. The Eleusinian mysteries weren't about shoring up my ego, Apollo. What about Venus? Did she go with them? The mortal? I don't believe so. Last I heard, she opened a gallery. Aphrodite's become her patron. Venus has painted most of the idols. I sat for her last week, in fact. It's made her rather successful. What about Hecate and Asterion? Are they still at the reliquary? Hecate leave the reliquary? I'd sooner believe the sun would go out. It doesn't hurt that they seem enraptured with each other's company. If only he hadn't finally confessed to Hecate where some of her missing books went. Aw, did you have to give back your precious trophies, Pan? Worse! She has me running errands. I'm searching for relics like some vagabond treasure hunter. Having fun, you mean? Not that too. I must admit, fleeing from boulder traps is more thrilling than you'd imagine. And Medusa? I take it she's no longer at the reliquary. She was. For a few months. There was an, uh, incident involving Hecate's new cat. Oh! oh no. Medusa was beside herself with apologies, but needless to say, she moved on rather quickly. We're not certain where. Meaning what? Medusa is roaming the streets? Doing whatever she likes? Mm, not quite. Medusa believed she might not be able to control her, uh, appetite, so she asked us to put her in contact with the mortal government. They took her... somewhere. I choose to believe she's become some kind of secret agent for the mortals, turning their enemies to stone. It was her decision. The government is grateful. They even suggested we might see Hephaestus again. Aphrodite's husband? He's alive? So it appears. Who knows what he's been doing for the mortals since the war, but... it would raise all our spirits to see him again. How about you, Apollo? Still planning on leaving the city? 
Not immediately. There's so much to wrap up here, and I want to ensure the Oracle will be fine on her own. You're not responsible for the child, Apollo. I believe I am. I need to be confident that both she and the idols won't suffer from my absence. And after that? I don't know. I was thinking of traveling for a time. Despite my age, there are so many places I haven't been. Poor, poor Apollo. Too much public attention, so it's time to flee to distant surfing shores. It is a bit disconcerting. The photographers following me around, the letters addressed to the sun god, I, I, I don't know what to do with it all. Even so, I'm not running away. I'll be back. I simply think it's time to see the world again with my own eyes. How about you, Persephone? Any big changes? Not yet, though I may be selling the club very soon. The Underworld? Why? I don't need a substitute for the real thing. That's all it ever was, and I'm fine with having neither. That said, I've been itching for a change. I believe it's time to move on to something else. Do we get to know what that something else is? <laughs> no, you don't. I came by to give you all my regards, such as they are. After this, you likely won't see me for quite some time. You will be missed, sister. More than you'll ever believe. <sighs> I still can't believe it's all over. Oh, it's scarcely over, Grace. Now that you've toppled the castle, it's barely just begun. Well, I didn't do that. Don't be modest. It deserved to be toppled. You did a fine job. <laughs> Perhaps we should leave you alone, Grace. You must be tired from your trip. Perhaps a round of drinks at the Underworld, in Calliope's honor. I like that, actually. Uh, if it's all the same to you both, Grace and I will be along shortly. Don't take too long, you two, or we'll start drinking without you. Alone, at last. I thought they'd never leave. I thought I'd seen everything. I thought who I was was all I could be. You know you changed the tune, we've all been dancing too Even though some mortal sailors got a move when he sees you And so I say let's do it, momentum's never bad Who knows who we'll be when we reach the end of night Life that is lived lies between black and white I rarely do pairs, but with you, it feels right. You throw the board all pieces askew. Any plans I had paired next to you. What will you do now? Your life's in your hands. Is there no I am a scoundrel, truth be told. I live my life with all of my soul. I'll apologize till we're made home. It's my heart that goes Come take my hand, come take a chance. I don't do so. Come, Grace. Let's share this day. Ah. Order all against all odds. Fiery. 
Share of the stance. Is that all of them? Well, it's good. I've not done all of it yet, but I cannot wait to because I want to do because I want to do another playthrough and do the other choices. Maybe can get Paulo to like her because it seems like whoever you choose more is the one that you end up who you end up with. It seems like. And is there a chance to say Freddy? We'll see. But I'm gonna do one more playthrough unless you guys tell me to do more. Because I want to go down every single version until I um, exhaust this game to death. Because I love these type of games where you get to choose your choice. And I love the fact that this is Greek mythology. This is my favorite mythology out of all of them. Even though I don't believe in it in the, any of this, but I love it because what it has in its world all the mythical creatures and stuff like that. So I cannot wait to continue this playthrough and find out if I find, even though we already know that Hera is the one that did it, it is gonna be fun watching the other stuff. Now, if I do things I have already done before, um, I will not show it, but if I have, I'll make sure to say different things that I did before. So I think I'm gonna be doing um, green, the very first time, then maybe red, then blue. So, but I'm gonna try to get, see if I can get, um, Apollo this time around as the person that, um, Grace ends up with. I think every actor in this did a great job singing, um, that we heard. Some of them are a little bit, um, needs a little bit work, but it's fine. I think, um, I think the mentor is supposed to be the way he is. He the only one I'm He's supposed to th thumb his words, it seems like, but only when we get- I didn't get to hear singing- I did hear Hermie sing in a different- in a, in a, on a video, but I think since- well, out of those two, since they're just speaking, the rest of them can sing really well. So I'm probably- I'm not gonna rate this one to I get done playing this game, but I love it so far. So... Okay, guys, let's see how long this video is before I continue on. But, um, I'm gonna just go to, um, so I'll see you guys in a bit.